you have to clean this thoroughly clean this thoroughly guys to make sure that only the pure substance can be put inside okay guys after which put it there there let's say for example this is the pure sample just an example huh you pour the sample up to the groove up to the groove up to the groove there it is after which you put the cover you have to be careful guys and make sure that you do it correctly there it is and then you lock it okay can I have one thermometer there uh, a good one huh? is that working and then after which guys you insert the thermometer you insert the thermometer here There it is. There. There it is. Okay, guys. After inserting the thermometer, you have to connect the flexible shaft. This one. Hold it like this. And this one. See that one? Hold it like that. And then you connect it here, guys. Huh? Here. Not here. Only here. Connect it like that slowly there there it is you don't need to pull it like that no need just like that there and then you turn on the switch and then you operate the steerer all right you operate the steer guys turn it off again and then adjust this one a little more And then run again so it's not moving anymore after which we will have to set the flame setting the flame we have to open this slowly and then set the flame guys there it is there is your pilot flame guys and then your test flame is this one so you pull it like that and then there adjust the flame and then push this that's it okay guys now the next thing you will do is then operate this and then after operating guys you look for the you 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 read the initial temperature read the initial temperature which is according to here it is approximately I could not read can't read it can't read it guys I'm having a hard time reading this can you read it guys can you read it for me can't read it 0, 10, 20 I don't know I cannot read it but uh, we will use another thermometer now after which guys you set the heater between two and three there it is okay set the heater between two and three all right after which now we know very well that the flash point of the kerosene we are using a kerosene let's have a look we are using a white kerosene there it is so the flash point of a white kerosene is between the range of 40 to 60 within the range of 40 to 60. So, when the temperature of the kerosene is at about 35, you start at 35. At 35, because we don't know whether it is below 40 or above 40, we have to, at 35, we have to give the flame like this. There. You don't need to be quick. You just have to drop the flame like that. Dip the flame like that. Now, at each increase in temperature, 35, 36, you get the flame. There. Okay, 37. There. Until, at a certain temperature, you see the blue flame coming out there, that will be your plus point. Okay, guys. After you see the, the blue flame coming out, immediately, you turn this off. 
you turn this off. Okay? And it's done. You get the plus point. Understood, guys? Any question? Very good. No question. Okay. Last thing, guys. Next. What do we do next? The viscosity. Okay. Pause, guys. Pause. Next to viscosity.